Hello BC team, it is 8 o'clock and we have 24 hours to make this day count. Today I need to go to the university, write my thesis and finally work in my neural network. I'm working in all that stuff because I have one and only one goal, to go for a PhD in UK. So I'm not a software engineer, but I think that it's close enough. Let me tell you why. I really love going for a run first thing in the morning in order to start your day. I love going for a run for two main reasons. The first one is to wake up really early and start your day. And the second one is... So the main question that I asked all the time is why I choose to become a researcher instead of a software engineer. Actually, a software engineer needs only a bachelor or even a master, but a researcher needs a bachelor, master, PhD and sometimes a postdoc. So it's actually a lot of time and it is really difficult. So the main reason that I choose this path is because I love the process. I love that it's so difficult and at the same time I am heavily invested in the whole process of learning and at the same time creating something completely new. It's 9.45 so we actually need to run in order to beat the university in 20 minutes. So I don't suggest to anyone that don't actually love to learn and at the same time create new stuff to choose this path. And when I say new stuff, I actually mean to do research and then to create something that never existed before. So to have a new idea or to produce something for the community. Because mainly a researcher works through papers, conferences and journals. This means that he creates something completely new that helps the community and then publishes this work in order to help other members of the community. Right now I'm trying to finish my university degree in electrical and computer engineering. This will allow me to go to the next step and start a PhD in UK, which I want to start in approximately 7 months. However, I have so many problems with the PhD professors, the university here, the courses and so many more. But let's go to university. So I just left in the middle of my first course, it was a 101 C++ course, so I couldn't actually sit and listen how to declare variables and stuff like that. This was actually one of my worst mistakes during my first university year. I felt so confident about programming at C++, so I didn't went for the exams and now in my final year I need to deal with C++. So right now, after all, I have four or actually five hours until my next course so i can go to the university library and study for neural networks i'm trying to build a really simple neural network that actually can understand cats and dogs it is really simple just for training so I will make it quick. Right now it's 2 o'clock so I will go to eat something. And then I have uh, one or two more hours in order to study. I will try to continue my thesis. A thesis for the one of two of you that don't know is actually the last project that you do when you finish your university. It's actually a really long scientific paper from 50 to 100 pages. You first make some research, then you actually work on the topic of your interest and finally you write a paper. I will continue this after because I will freeze to death. Hello, 
PC team, I just came back from university. Right now I need to work in my thesis because I didn't do much today. Until now I have wrote about 74 pages, which is good, but it's not enough for my professor. Actually my professor wants to create a whole chapter in neural networks. Don't get me wrong, I love neural networks, but I'm really stressed because I need to finish my whole thesis in this semester in order to have the ability to go for a PhD. So the steps that I need to follow is to finish writing the thesis, then review it, my professor needs to review the thesis, then correct any mistakes, find the other professors in order to present the idea, make the presentation, actually create the presentation, and all that in only three months. So there is a possibility that I don't finish my thesis in this semester, which is a disaster, because I can't finish my university, so I can't go for a PhD. So I need to start working. Right now is 11.30 and I need to go to sleep in order to wake up at 7 o'clock. I didn't do much in my thesis, about one or two pages, which is practically nothing. So I need to work tomorrow really hard. I think that I will not go for a run tomorrow because I need to have these 45 minutes to work. I woke up two hours ago and I'm working in neural networks. I'm watching videos and at the same time I'm trying to finish the neural network that can understand cats and dogs. After all, I didn't go for a run because I have two deadlines and of course the cold. So right now I have five or six hours until the start of my next course in the university. I will finish the log right here. It is nine o'clock, so we are really close to the 24 hour restriction. And I will see you in three days. If you want to join the PPC team, subscribe. And as always, keep coding, guys. Mm -hmm.